Tonight, a community continues to mourn the death of 17-year-old Deont uh, Deontay Moore. He died Saturday morning after being shot the night before. Way 31's Grace Campbell spoke with someone who saw a little bit of himself in Moore. Grace. Raphael Graves is the head coach of the Jemison basketball team. He said Deontay Moore, or better known as Puderu, was the heart of Jemison High School. So he's having a tough time with this, but he's putting on his game face so he can be strong for Puderu's teammates. I'm only doing well because I know I have to be strong for others. Raphael Graves met Moore when he became the head basketball coach at Jemison High School one year ago. He says his confidence and courage radiated off of him. He had a little bit of what everybody lacked. So, like, if you, if you were afraid and you lacked toughness, he had it. Um, if you were afraid and you lacked confidence, he had it. And it would rub off on you. Moore even had an impact on Graves' family. He calls his son Puderu. Everybody, why you name your son after him? And it's been like, I was like, because like I wanted my son to be just, just like that. Graves says Moore offered so much, not only to his team, but to the whole world. He says nobody can compare. I think we'll be foolish to actually try to really replace that because you're actually going to be looking for something that you can't, you can't get. Graves said he was excited to watch Puderu grow up and become an even better man. He said that would have been the best championship win for him. Reporting live in Huntsville, Grace Campbell, Way 31 News. Thank you, Grace. Saturday, a 20-year-old turned himself in for the murder of Deontay Moore. Huntsville police said Keandre McGuire turned himself in after investigators said he shot Moore in the 1500 block of Ascent Trail. McGuire is in the Madison County Jail facing a charge of capital murder.